All right, guys, welcome to another Gamers Guild box break. Today's break will feature a box of Time Spiral Remastered in break one and two. A box of Zendikar Rising Collector Boosters in break one and two. And, because apparently I cannot count to 14, uh, a half a box of Commander Legends Draft Boosters in each of the breaks. Why, do you ask? Well, originally we had this break set up as a fourteen, uh, as a seven-person break, with multicolor and colorless being combined. However, I goofed, and we ended up signing up sixteen folks for those spots. And so, what we de determined is we were going to split multicolor and colorless back up into their own spots. And since they were a little lighter on possible like hits in Time Spiral and Zendikar, we added a uh, half a box each of Commander Legends draft boosters to the pool so that they have a really nice shot at hitting like uh, at Etched Foil Thrasios, Jeweled Lotus, something to that effect to really potentially ramp up their chances to pull something sweet in those slots. In addition, we also added another Zendikar Rising box topper uh, to each break. So what does that mean? That means we have four Zendikar Rising box toppers that will be randomized at the end of each break. We will also be randomizing any foil expeditions we open in the Zendikar Rising boxes. And last week, both boxes had three foil expeditions, which was awesome. And we'll also be randomizing at the end any time-shifted foils we get in our time spiral boxes. Last week's boxes had one in each. Uh, what that meant was that every single person in our pool got a randomized card at the end, including stuff like a uh, uh, foil expedition, a uh, scalding tarn, a uh, time shifted foil path to exile. It was awesome. All right, so let's determine our breakers and their spots for break number one. We've got Greg, Jeff B, Jonah, Lou, Michael A, Nick G, Ronnie, and Tim C in break number one. Oh yeah, and before I forget, uh, joining us in person today, we've got Andrew P. And Auden, we've got, uh, like, they're going to be participating as a part of break number two. Uh, we definitely hope that they, uh, maybe maybe they'll get red. We know Andrew likes red. Mm. You know, maybe he can get a cool uh, kiki-jiki or something. We'll love it. All right, here we go, guys. Our slots for break number one will go to. All right, in black, we've got Tim C. That's perfect. Liliana is his favorite planeswalker. In blue, we've got Ronnie. Green is Greg. Red is Jeff B. White is Michael A. Uh, Lou gets lands. I believe he got lands last week. Uh, Nick G is in colorless. And Jonah is joining us again this week. After a week off, after two weeks of sick pools uh, in a multicolor. Greg got green this will be the week he opens Silver Goyf. Yeah, we got to get that Goyf this week. Mm. Push it up a little bit more. All right, adjusting the randomizer so that we can select one person at a time at the end of this break on our random cards. All right, so guys, we're going to start with our Commander Legends half box. All right. <laughs> All right, we're starting off with a rare for colorless, Nevrinyl's Disc. And we're uh, getting a second rare, one for multicolored, for Lathiel the Bounteous Dawn, for all you unicorn lovers out there. Then we've got a foil common for green, Gift of Paradise. And the always, like, extremely not elusive Prismatic Piper. Alright, Immaculate Magistrate for green. And we've got a foil common for white, Court Street Denizen. 
a couple legendaries sprinkled in there. Well, we did start officially running some events this past week. Uh, they went pretty well. So this week we will once again be uh, running an event on Friday, uh, Modern. It's going to be a free event at 7 o'clock. And on Sunday at 2 o'clock in our normal uh, standard time slot, we'll be hosting a free standard event. Um, please let us know if you're going to attend. I'm not going to cap the event numbers on, on this week. Uh, just We'll see how many people we get. But, uh, and we may schedule another event for Saturday as well, but more to come on that a little bit later this week, probably tomorrow. But, and thanks to all you guys that came out for the standard and the modern. It was, it was pretty awesome to see like, you know, like competitive games going on once again. It had been over a full year since we had ran an event, which I never thought I'd be able to say that. Uh, at any point it's been pretty crazy but thank you for helping us get that ball rolling once again all right we've got a court of cunning for blue followed by a foil mythic for red awesome this is going to be for jeff jessica thrice reborn that was quite a pack over the course of these breaks since we've been doing them uh, we've opened six boxes of Commander Legends, and we have not hit a Jeweled Lotus yet. We would really love it if we could provide Nick G with a, a Jeweled Lotus in this break. Got to open the armory. That's a good uncommon for white. Oh, we've got another Mythic. Man, we're just hitting all the Mythics right now. Uh, it's for red, Hellkite Courser. Got Captain Vargas for blue, or uh, from Multicolor rather. Then we've got a foil. Like, red has had some some rough weeks. Curse the entire table. <laughs> but like, but Probably man, okay. when you hit, you hit well. Got a Commander Sphere, nice for colorless. Thought Vessel for colorless. Okay, okay. So th these twelve packs are definitely going to help colorless pull their weight tonight. We've got another rare for white, Armored Sky Hunter. And we've got a foil uncommon for red, Vow of Lightning. A rare for multicolor, Jared uh, Carthalian, True Air, Naya Colors. And a foil Skyraker Giant for red. It was cool that they brought back Monarch in Commander Legends. It is. It gave uh, each uh, color a way to get the Monarch, too. Yeah, that, that was a, a pretty good call on their part. Mm -hmm. All right, we've got another rare for red. This is a, definitely a red box so far. Like Andrew called that. Amber yeah, Wild so. Captain. <laughs> we've got a, a rare for multicolor, Belb uh, Corrupted Observer for uh, red or uh, black green. And another rare, a triple rare pack, Amareth the Lustrous, Bant Colors, followed by a nice foil common, uh, Supernatural Stamina for black. I, I still think, I don't think we ever hit that elusive four rare pack for Commander Legends in our openings. Sakashima's Will for blue. Rograk, my personal favorite. We've got a foil kite sail courser for blue. And another Piper. Got a few more Commander Legends packs to go. And then we're going to get into the Zendikar Rising Collector Boosters. Body of Knowledge for blue. I really want to see that Sakashima of a thousand faces. That's what I want to see. And a foil prying eyes for blue. Oh, nice for lands. Spectator seating, the red, white, dual land. Got another rare for multicolor. So 
It's working out pretty well for Jonah so far. Obeka, Brute Chronologist. Grixis Colors. Oh, our first etched foil. Nice. Multicolor. Emoti, Celebrant of Bounty. Green Blue. What was the name of that card? The green blue card they spoiled today that's insane? It was oh, like, I was, can't remember the name, but it was a new commander. It's for the commander decks. Yeah, it's a it's a four drop two two with ward, which means that you have to pay two additional mana to target it, and it doubles all the tokens that you produce on your side. So all of those token decks that people have been building all these years, like you just got another serious bomb, and this one can be a commander. Actually, the ward mechanics are unique each, for each uh, different card. So there's some in the actual main set that you have to pay three life to target it. Oh, nice. Well, that particular one, you got to pay two mana to target for you and Strixhaven, I'm telling you. We do still have set boosters and collector boosters available for pre-order on Strixhaven. Um, draft boosters, we cut the pre-orders off on those because they did announce that there was going to be a bit of a delay in a lot of the draft booster stock, and we didn't want to oversell it and not have your product on release day. Oh, man, another mythic for white, Archon of Coronation. And another rare for multicolor, Zara Renegade Recruiter. And another rare for multicolor, Liesa Shroud of Dusk. Nice. Foil Doom Traveler as well for white. So close to the four. So close. I still want to see that Commander's Plate or that Jeweled Lotus for colorless. I need some help. <laughs> All right, this is the last pack we're going to be doing of Commander Legends for this particular break. Got a Command Tower for lands. Guildless Commons for lands. Nice! There you go, Colorless. Rings of Bright Hearth. Okay, that would be pretty good for him. And a foil for black, Eye Blight Assassin. All right. So our plan to help bolster Colorless and Multicolor uh, because of my big old goof. Like... So far, it's looking okay. Like, maybe we did, maybe we did good, guys. All right, so now cross your fingers, and maybe we'll get another one of those three foil expedition boxes of Zendikar Rising. Remember, any foil expeditions we open will be randomized at the end of the break. Uh, full art for blue, Coral Helm Chronicler. Mythic foil for white, Tazri Beacon of Unity. And nice for multicolor, Mythic Showcase Omnath Locus of Creation. Excellent. Uh, foil Showcase Nectar Pot for green. Oh man, right off the jump. Foil Expedition Prismatic Vista. Hello. That is spectacular. It's really good. Okay, man. We couldn't start off much better than that. <laughs> That's so sick. All right. Full art Nighthawk Scavenger for black. A foil rare for white, Luminarch Aspirant. And for lands, we've got our first duel. Bright Climb Pathway, the white-black duel. Very nice. Foil Showcase Dread Worm for black. And a foil full art for blue, Thieving Skydiver. That's a good card, too. Steals a sword. I don't like it because X can't be zero. <laughs> Nah, it's a, it's a good card. <laughs> All right, we've got another full art for blue, Maddening Cacophony. A foil rare for blue, Inscription of Insight. Ronnie's getting some love to this box. Then we've got a full art for multicolor, Nisa of the Shadowed Bows. There you go, Jonah. Got a showcase foil, Bela. And a full art foil for black, coveted prize. 
if you're going to build one of the decks that revolves around the party mechanic, that most certainly will see play. That party mechanic is bringing a pretty big boost uh, set up the Strixhaven. Yeah, I think in the Forgotten Realm set, it would be very likely to come back. Yeah, that's the D&D &D set, right? Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. That's going to be big. All right. Yeah, I've been waiting like 20 years for that. <laughs> like, TSR uh, was the company that made D&D, &D, mm -hmm. and like Wizards of the Coast did so well that they bought them a few years into Magic's existence, and the first thing I thought was, oh, man... We're going to get a D&D &D magic set, and oh, please let it be Forgotten Realms or Dragonlance themed. And it just never happened. But now, finally, they're branching out into, they're using their own licenses, they're branching out and making relationships with all these other companies to, to use their brands. It's really going to expose magic to a ton of other, like, like, players and just further grow the game. Super crossover. You kind of got your hopes up with the RPG sets they did for magic. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, it was just a matter of time after they started introducing, like, magic settings into D&D. &D. All right, uh, we've got a Full Art for Lands, Crawling Barons, a Foil Nighthawk Scavenger for Black. Our uh, next uh, Full Art Dual Land, River Glide Pathway, the Blue-Red. Awesome. It's looking like a good day for Lou so far. We've got a Foil Showcase Scythe Cat for green. And for red, we have a Full Art Foil, Nahiri's Lithoforming. That's a really sick foil. Mm -hmm. Looks nice. River Glide Pathway is nice, too. That's got to be the best land art Full Art. I'm, yeah. I'm looking forward to the Secret Lair, like the Ultimate Secret Lair 2. Mm -hmm. It's going to have all those in there. Mm -hmm. we'll, we're getting 100 of them. We just haven't exactly heard when. But, uh, but we'll definitely be able to hook up a lot of folks. Hey, we have a full art uh, mythic for multicolor, Oboon Moldiah Ancestor from the Commander decks. Uh, foil for white, Squad Commander. Another showcase for multicolor, uh, Phylath World Sculptor. Got a showcase foil squid for blue. And, like, speak of the devil, Andrew, we got a full art foil river glide pathway. The, as he said, probably the best of them all. Nice. Going to Lou. Gorgeous. <laughs> that was gorgeous, but you know what would be gorgeous? Also, if we pulled another foil expedition, I want to do that. It's going to be here, Mason. I'll take the bet now. All right, everybody send in your bets to Andrew on uh, whether or not we pull, very specifically, an Arid Mesa. <laughs> All right, we've got a full art for white, Archon of Amaria. That's a good one. Uh, foil Null Priest of Oblivion for black. This is I have a lot of black and white like stuff in this box. Like I haven't seen much love for green yet. And another dual land, Clearwater Pathway, blue-black. looking good uh, we've got a showcase foil ox for white and i was i called it all, it's not grove of the burn willows <laughs> foil expedition it was not an arid mesa so any of you that took that action <laughs> you message andrew i'll find out on facebook there you go <laughs> awesome and we still have about half a box of these to go so will we get that third one i hope so Got a Luminarch Aspirant Full Art for white. Foil Valakut Awakening for red. Showcase Skyclave Shade for black. Showcase Brushfire Elemental for multicolor. And we've got a Myriad Construct Full Art Foil for colorless. There we go, getting a little another little hit for colorless. Let's get that Lithoform engine. That's what we really need to hit in this box mm, yeah. for colorless. Yeah, that would be fun, eh? Well, there's another good artifact in here. I just can't remember what it was. Or I might be thinking about M21. The monument, right? Forsaken monument? Yeah. Ooh, cleansing wildfire. That's a good common red foil. <laughs> Skyclave relic. Hey, speaking of colorless, there we go. That's a good one for colorless. Full art. Foil inscription of ruin for black. Foil. 
And our second full art planeswalker of this box. Full art Jace Mirror Mage for blue. All right, we've got a showcase foil Felidar for white. Nice full art foil for multicolor. There you go, Jonah. A Kiri Fearless Voyager. All right, and another good one for blue. A full art glass pool mimic. Isn't that one of your favorites? Yeah. Those pool <laughs> mint one, too. <laughs> Foil branch loft pathway, non full art for lands. The green white. Showcase ruin crab, always nice for blue. And another full art duel for uh, lands. Branch loft pathway, the green white. Man, a. a Check that out in the same pack. Half a playset right there. Love the full art of that one, too. Uh, Skyclave GP Showcase Foil for red. Oh, and we did get three. Nice. We did. Valica. Man, we pulled a Valica in each box last week. So this is three boxes in a row that we pulled a Valica at the Molten Pinnacle. Well, it does have one fall, so. Well, yeah, well, like we are definitely dropping those lands in this break. <laughs> Remember that one? Oh man, guys, this we've already like so we've got three uh, expedition foils. We're giving away four box toppers. All we have to do is hit one time shifted foil, and all eight people in this break are gonna get a randomized card. Awesome. Can can we hit a fourth expedition foil? That would be sick. Like, I, I've heard people say that they've done it. I haven't seen it with my own eyes. <laughs> Tajuru Paragon, full art for green. Foil Myriad Construct for colorless. Showcase Valka Exploration for red. That's a really nice one. Showcase Foil Bayloth for green. And also for green, a full art Inscription of Abundance. Looks like a force of will, mana. <laughs> All right, two packs to go in this uh, in this box. Inscription of ruin, full art for black. Crag plate, uh, a crag plate bayloth for green foil. Showcase for green, uh, Scoot Swarm. Showcase Foil Akum Hellhound for red. And a foil, a full art foil mythic for white, Angel of Destiny. Gorgeous foil right there. There you go, Michael A. That was swarm. I know that's one of your favorites. Yeah. Was that Arena? Stopped it from making so many tokens. That's a pretty sick card. <laughs> I mean, just create 162 copies swinging. <laughs> <laughs> Foil Sajiri Shelter, that's kind of cool for what? Nice for green. There you go, Greg. I know he's been waiting for something. Greg's got, <laughs> he's charmed in this. What are you doing? Go ahead, Mackie. That's true. Uh, that's a mythic full art, a Shia Soul of the Wild. Followed by a foil for multicolor, Linvala Shield of Seagate. And another duel, full art for lands, Crag Crown Pathway, my personal favorite, the red green. We've got a showcase squid for blue. And a full art Yasharn Implacable Earth uh, for multicolor to round out that box. Man, that was a solid box. That Prismatic Vista got us started off right. Between that and the Battle Pit. <laughs> yeah, man. I mean, Grove of the, Bur Bur like, of the Burn Willows is not what it once was. Yeah. But I will take a foil expedition anytime. All right, guys. Now the main event of break number one, Time Spiral Remastered. Unload them. Make sure you talk to us. Got a, a necrotic sliver for uh, multicolor. 
Safi Eric's daughter for multicolor. There we go. And our time shifted is for red, Molten Rain. We can blow up all of our expeditions. Mm -hmm. Thelonite Hermit for green. Time shifted Ancient Den for lands. And a foil common for white, Pallid Mycoderm. Angel's Grace for white today. Also picked up some really cool time shifted foils earlier today. I picked up two abrupt decay time shifted foils. Those jokers are $153 a piece. That kind of hurt my feelings. And then I picked up my personal favorite, Bloodbraid Elf, and a Mystic Confluence. It was a it was a cool afternoon here at the guild. A Thelen of Havenwood for green. And another Vampire Hex Mage back to back. Time shifted for black. There you go, Tim. It's going for the place I am going to start out by trying to get one of each. I wasn't. That took a long time and a lot of very helpful customers. Um, and then, uh, and I do regret <laughs> partying with it. Um, but yeah, I mean, I'll, I'm going to start out and try to get one of each time shifted foil as just a kind of like a fun vanity project for the store. And, but if it works out that we seem like we could get a play set of everything, why not, man? Like it might be something fun to just put up, um, for a rainy day. There we go for Colas, a Lotus Bloom, followed by a time shifted gray merchant. This is the time shifted uh, box for black right here. Oh, and then my favorite draft card, Keldon Halberder for red. That card is a sick draft card. I don't care what you say. I don't care what Charlie says. <laughs> it's so good. Cliff, you are bad at draft. I beat you with a gator one time. Don't even start. <laughs> with, a, with a gator? Yeah. yeah it was like Got a, a Tombstalker for black. A multicolor for uh, time shifted, Teamer Ascendancy. And a foil for red, homing sliver. Did you get that time uh, shifted sliver? Time shifted. Yeah, he's red white. Is um, it cloud blazing? Something like that. Something cloud shredder. Cloud shredder. Got a might of old crows today for green. Extra paint for black. And an Atali primal storm time shifted for red. Cards I've read so many times. <laughs> yeah, but the coolest one is the time shifted. Yeah, I agree with that. Oh, the foil one? Does it look that good? Yeah, well, so the foil good. one looks good. It, it really does. I, I, Atali, he just feels like he should have an old border. Mm. <laughs> Another necrotic sliver there. All right, we've got a stuffy doll for colorless. There you go, Nick G. Followed by a banishing light, time shifted for white. And we've got a, a foil rare, a regular foil rare, a Heartwood Storyteller for green. Get it, Greg. Greg's happy with that, uh, Ashaya. But we'll see what else he can get. We still haven't pulled that goif. Nope. Mm. We, oh, got a Coalition coming. Relic for colorless. And we've got a Trigon Predator time shifted for multicolor. Followed by another foil rare, Tombstalker for black. That's a theme, a Voodoo Brother with Dell. Really good. All right, we've got a Summoner's Pact for green. Another time shifted gray merchant. Tim's just going to own all the time shifters in this box. And we've got a foil Riftmark Knight, uncommon for white. Uh, two 
Gary, two hex mages. Let's let's go. Thought seize. <laughs> <laughs> we need that foil thought seize. Yes. That's what we need. I've got I picked up a Yogmoth and a Ponder. Mm. That thought seize might be the most expensive of, of what we're missing. But anybody that pulls one and wants to keep it, I can respect it. Got a Magus of the Future for blue. And there we go for green, time shifted, prime time. Good old primeval titan himself. He, he's the only titan they time shifted. Mm -hmm. Yep. Man, good er, too in that old border. Everybody's always sleeping on Frost Titan. He get, he doesn't get the love he deserves. I don't like many blue cards, but I mean, Grave Titan's better. Mm. Inferno's worth that. There we go, another one for lands. Dryad Arbor. <laughs> that's the one that's a creature land. Okay. Uh, time shifted Master of the Pearl Trident for blue. That's cool. Yes! Oh, nice. Oh, that's Sick. Cool. We got our first time shifted foil, and of course it's black. Read the bones. Oh, yeah. So nice. That's so, mm -hmm. what does that mean? What's the most relevant thing about that other than it being a sweet card? That means that everybody in break number one is guaranteed to get a time shifted card at the end of it. So yeah, even not it, time shifted. Well, randomized card at the end of it. A pretty foil. <laughs> oh, he's. Uh, I don't think we've picked that one up yet. So you know, whoever's up with it, if you want to hook a nerd up, you know where to find me. And we've got another rare for colorless. Man, all these, like, where were all these last week? Cloud Key. There you go, Nick G. Followed by Time Shifted Lingering Souls for white. I love Lingering Souls back when it first got released. Have you seen the foil one? Yeah. The Time Shifted one? Pretty. I personally hate that card with a passion. <laughs> Because there's like there's very few cards early in a game when you're playing with mono red <laughs> that you want to see like then there's there's not much more you're gonna hate than lingering souls man knowing that they've just got almost infinity blockers to to like stall the game out just long enough then they just blow up. I'm sorry yeah. uh, you, if you can have dudes I can have dudes <laughs> <laughs> all right pulmonic sliver for white and a time shifted Ooh. elvish mystic for green. Yeah, man, lingering souls. Man. Like it's it's turned so many really great hands into just nothing. That's what blowing up lands are for. <laughs> yeah, is that what it is? <laughs> well, blowing up lands can do that too. More molten rings. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, have you seen how many times Austin can do it? Yeah. We've got a multicolor rare, Caravac the Merciless. And we've got a time shifted dread horde arcanist, one of my favorites. So and a foil uncommon for blue delay. That was in such a need Ooh. of a reprint, and then they uh, put it in mystery boosters, which helped quite a bit. That's nice, and now we've though. got another reprint in time spiral. So I think we're good on delays now. Yeah, she's counter. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Counter spell comes on two turns. We got a street wraith for black. Muraganda Petroglyphs for green. Yeah. Then we've got a time shifted Contagion Clasp for colorless. That's the one that you already have. Oh, okay. Simeon Spirit Guy for red. Rip. <laughs> if High Arcanist for multicolor. Every set's got to have a worse card. <laughs> Nah, he's actually not so bad. And then uh, followed by another time shifted contagion clasp. Okay. Well, there you go, Nick. Let's see if we can get that uh, second read the bone foil. Mm, mm. That would be, uh, dude. Like Richard, the guy. Like, hello, Richard W. If you are watching, <laughs> um, the fellow that sold me the two uh, abrupt decays uh, foils. I believe he said those were in the same box, so it could happen. We've got a Mythic Rare for red, a Chroma Angel of Fury, the Morphochroma. Hmm. And we've got a Time Shifted Young Pyro for red, and a Foil Terramorphic Expanse for lands. Your partner has a good card too. 
Love Young Pyromancer. That's a card you would play. Got an even mind sensor for white. That's definitely worth noting. Well, there we go for blue. Nice. Pact of Negation. Congrats, Ronnie. And we've got another time shifted teamer ascendancy for multicolor. Okay, cool. Isn't that the second one? Yeah, that's yeah. the second one. Oh, this that might be the cute. third one. Hmm. Uh, actually, I think. Nope, I'm probably gone. Oh, this box is weird. Nope, just that one, two now. We've got Charlie's favorite, Draining Whelk for blue. Good card. And a time-shifted Hedron Archive for colorless. I'm thinking my idea to split colorless and multicolor is working out all right tonight. I, I, I'm going to try not to goof up at that like that in the future, but if I do, I hope it works out well for everybody. We've got a Pact of the Titan for red. A uh, time shifted Mystic Sanctuary for lands. In a second, Expedition or a time. Sorry, man, I'm opening up so many different packs. <laughs> time shifted Foil Blighted Woodland. That's probably the best one. Oh, or very blight. nice. Yeah. Best Blighted Land. Yeah, it's definitely the like. It's it's definitely the most popular in Commander of all the Blighted Lands. That's nice, pretty. dude. That's beautiful. Yeah. So we're like. So somebody, somebody's walking away with two <laughs> randomized cards like, at the end. Probably going to be better. That is, nice. that is, that yeah. is, that is something else, guys. Maybe we'll just pull a third one. Let's just keep, like, let's yeah. be, let's be optimistic here. <laughs> Angel of Salvation for white. And a time shifted, shifted SRAM, a senior edificer. Awesome, and all those Cheerios builds. That's one of the ones I don't have. Man, Blue's just racking up on those delays. Mm -hmm. Walk the Eons for Blue. Time Shifted Mystic Confluence for Blue. Nice. Uh, I, my heart jumped a little bit. I was like, oh, it's a foil, and it's black. <laughs> Is it, uh, isn't that the second read the bones? But it's a, a ridge, a ridged coot sight for black common foil. I'm just waiting for that foil to die. Uh, a foil grade merchant. No, there might have. We had a foil grade merchant. I saw in, that. Yeah. In the in the first one of these, we did. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Might have old crows for green. Street wraith for black. Deal or bad hand. Just very notable yeah. uncommons. I don't really feel that new art. New art for what? Street wraith. That's not new. That is new. I didn't no, even know it was a, I didn't know he was in the pack until I saw him. Uh, Nether Trader for black. And then we've got a time shifted Thrag Tusk for green. I hate that card too. That's for those new art. <laughs> that, that I, that, 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 you, if you're playing red and they drop a Thrag Tusk, uh, you're, you're welcome to make a sad face. If you Thrag Tusk and Winger Soul, just put them in the trash. <laughs> <laughs> Eon Chronicler for blue. We've got a time shifted Far Seek for green. And a foil rare for white, Angel's Grace. This is a pretty good box, guys. Yeah. Yeah. Angel's Grace is nice. Still, we want to see that Goyf. We want to see a Yogmoth, maybe. Or it's probably going to be a foil Goyf because it's in Greg's colors. Mm. Yeah. Like that, that would make sense. We got Sarah Avenger for white. Uh, I think green's taking over these time shifts. Uh, Reclamation Sage. And a foil of Firewake Sliver for multicolor. That's one of my favorite colors. No, that was, that's, uh, that's necrotic. Uh, the black white one. Yeah. Teleria West for lands. Yuck. A 
A boom bust for red. We've got a time shift in Mortify for multicolor. Oh. Yeah. And a Vesuva Mythic for lands. Nice. Followed by Commander's very own Palace Jailer, time shifted for white. Originally from Conspiracy. Mangara of Corridor for white. Oh, that dirty link. You have no idea how much pain that card caused. <laughs> <laughs> that and Core Firewalker. Yeah, that card sucks too. <laughs> so, you know. No, it's great. <laughs> it is A greater Gargadon for red. Another Palace Jailer, time shifted for white. Okay. <laughs> yeah. This is definitely. Everybody, feel free to start singing some Bon Jovi. Mm. I'm not going to do that. Uh, even Mind Sensor for white. Did you deny me singing in the short store? Yep. <laughs> okay. uh, Rada Air to Killed, multicolor rare. Time shifted Arc of Araska, Charlie's favorite time shifted for this set. <laughs> Doesn't make sense. <laughs> <laughs> it's from a different time. That's how time shifted. Mm. Maybe Araska is like magic language for waste of card. I think that's a good card, actually. It's not a horrible card. It's just they could have picked something different. The time shift. Oh. Sudden spoiling for black. Nice for colorless. Time shifted Panharmonicon. That's like eleven bucks. Hypergenesis Mythic for green. And we've got our Ramanop Ruins, time shifted for lands. Almost said red. <laughs> I mean, you know, they go like this. It is, it is time shifted. I'm moving the dryer over over the green ones. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Second to last pack of break number one gives us. A slaughter pack for a black. A time shifted stonehorn dignitary for white. All right. Hmm. All right. Last pack. Last pack magic. Vampire heck. <laughs> <laughs> foil vampire. Foil. Yeah, yeah that would go. be nice. Get some foils. Rip Bolt, nice for red. Sedge Sliver for red. Followed by hey, our second oh. time shifted Thrag Tusk for oh. green. We reverse cursed that. <laughs> we were talking All about All right. Um, All right, man. So we're going to put this Prismatic Vista over here. Or should we just open them in the order that we pulled them? What do you think, Charlie? Uh, I'd save the Vista for the last of the open cards. Yeah, and that way everybody's got a shot at the Vista in the end. Yeah, just do reverse order. All right, so we've got nine prizes for uh, the randomized portion of this. We're going to start with our Zendikar box toppers. We're going to pick a name first. Oh, Charlie. <laughs> All right. All right. So our first box topper is going to go to, I think everybody did fairly well for themselves. So I can't root for anybody in particular. 
maybe Jeff, maybe like Jeff needs a good pull. Like Red was maybe the weakest. All right, so first box topper goes to Lou. Lou with the lands. All right, Lou is going to get. Valakut, the Molten Pinnacle Non-Foil Expedition. There you go, Lou. Remember, you're still going to have a crack at that Prismatic Vista. There you go, man. But not a bad way to round out your break so far. All right. Box topper number two is going to go to... Michael A. And that is going to be a Scalding Tarn. Damn. Sick. Oh, man. Nice, Michael. Michael's had some good weeks in these breaks, man. Sick. This is, this is because he bought a ridiculous amount of cards for me this past week. <laughs> Judge Foil, Mana Drain, Judge Foil, Force of Will. Uh, a masterpiece, uh, Mox Opal, Chrome Mox, and Soul Ring. It was a lot of stuff. So congrats, Mike. You deserve it, man. All right, our next box topper is going to go to Jonah. Let's see what we get. A Copper Line Gorge. I mean, it's a far cry from a Scalding Tarn, but it's super playable. Red, green, fast land. Congrats, Jonah. And our last box topper is going to go to Nick G. Colorless was okay this break. But let's see what he's rounding out his, his day with. All right. Nick G, you just got... A Cavern of Souls! That's nice, strong. That's really strong. Holy moly. Uh, yeah, I think he's got a good one now. <laughs> yeah, well, there you go, buddy. Like, paid and paid. Awesome, dude. Congrats. All right. Now for our foil expedition, Grove of the Burn Willows. That's going to go to... Tim C. Over there, like black was really good today, so I hope that grove is is all right to you too. All right, we got Valakut the Molten Pinnacle foil. That's gonna go to Ronnie. Greg, you lucky. <clears throat> Ronnie gets the Valakut. All right, read the bones, like. Whoever's name pops up is going to get the Read the Bones. Whoever's name does not pop up is going to get the Blighted Woodland Time Shifted Foil. All right, Read the Bones is going to go to Greg. Excellent, man. Excellent. And that means our lucky winner of the Blighted Woodland is Jeff. Congrats, dude. I definitely feel like everybody made out pretty well. I think everybody did so good. I think maybe the store should just keep the Prismatic Vista. What, like, what do you think? Yeah, they can like, there, nobody would be mad about that, right? Yeah, they can, they can get back later, later tomorrow. <laughs> we'll have all right, all right. I'm not going to do that to you. All right, so we've put all eight names back into the break pool. So everybody's got a one in eight shot at pulling the Prismatic Vista Foil Expedition. What a beautiful card. All right, and the Prismatic Vista goes to Gre Greg. Oh, of course. Oh, of course. <laughs> <laughs> of course. Wah, wah, wah. <laughs> Greg, man, you are charmed, my friend. Congrats, dude. Really sick card for Greg. He's had a couple really he had a couple shaky ones in the beginning, but man, he's been on a really nice streak in our breaks, man. Thank you for participating. 
Uh, what a great pool, man. Awesome. So, break number one. That was pretty successful for everybody, I'd say, man. I'm super glad that it was. Now we got to move on to break number two. All right, our participants, and man, I wish a couple of them were here today. Our participants for break number two, we've got the illustrious, the beloved, Aaron Dews. Uh, We've got Alex B. joining us from NYC, Uh, Andrew P. here in person, Uh, Clarence Dews. We've got two-thirds of the triplets. That's not full power, but it's pretty good. Uh, We've got Daniel S. participating again with us this week. Uh, Deegan is participating. It's the first one he's not been to in person, but uh, I hope you're having a good time on your vacation, dude. Thank you for participating again. Uh, We've got JC joining us for the first time and Mike G joining us once again. All right, so let's give away those spots. They will go to... All right, in black, we've got JC. In blue, we've got Aaron Dews. In green, we've got Clarence. In red, we've got Andrew P. Oh, come on. <laughs> That's for, awesome. I was hoping for Oh, no, 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 I'm sorry. That was Alex. I can't, I can't, not only can I cannot count to 14, I can't count until like four. <laughs> In white is Andrew P. Oh, oh. I was hoping Sorry, dude, that would have been there. perfect. Uh, Deegan is on lands. Daniel S. is on colorless. Man, we are due for that freaking Jeweled Lotus. And Mike G. is on multicolor. So we want to see that Sliver Legion pop out in break number two for Mike. (laughs) All right. So black JC, blues Aaron Dews, greens Clarence, reds Alex, white Andrew P., lands Deegan, colorless Daniel S., and multicolor for Mike G. Let's reset the machine so that we can randomize for individual players at the end. Hopefully we get as many randomized cards at the end of this as we did in break number one. That was very, very fun. All right, once again, we're gonna start with Commander Legends. Let's go Jeweled Lotus. Open the armory, not a bad uncommon for white. Hmm. Court of Grace for white. Okay. Multicolor rare. Gore Muldrak, Amphenologist. And a nice foil for colorless, a foil thought vessel. Nice. Oh, nice. Yeah, I'll take the open armory. We want to see an etched foil of chroma Mm. for you. Oh, God bless you. That's what we want to see. Opal Palace, not bad common there for lands. We've got an Aurora Phoenix for red. And a Foil Command Sphere right off the bat for Colorless. Maybe you're right. Colorless just getting those Manorock Foils. Not bad, Daniel. Speaking of Daniels, D Dog, if you're out there listening. Drop by the the guild sometime, man. We'd love to see you. Hope you're doing all right. Got a Kamal's Will for green. Hans Erickson for multicolor. Looking like a Baratheon. And a Foil Howling Golem for colorless. Nice. Opposition agent for black. There you go, JC. Getting some value right off the bat. And a foil Iona's judgment for white. I want to see a mana drain for Aaron Dews. 
or a Sakashima. <laughs> Court of Ire for Red. Crark the Thumbless for Red as well. Nice! Like, foil etched, multicolor, your lock of Scorch Thrash. There you go, Mike G. Awesome. We haven't pulled nearly enough etched foils out of these breaks. But we got a nice one for multicolor. I'm just waiting for that look up on to show on it. Uh, that'll be in the next pack. We definitely want to see it. Arcane Signet, nice for colorless. We've got a Bio Waste Blob for green. And a Rip Scale Predator Foil for red. Command Beacon for lands. So Deegan's got a hit. We've got Averna the Chaos Bloom for multicolor. And a foil skilled animator for blue. Codex Shredder, very useful and common for colorless there. Blade Gear Prototype for colorless. Got a Slurk for green. And we've got a Foil Haunted Cloak for colorless. Austere Command for oh, white. Nice. And a Silverback Shaman foil for green. The stupid thing is, it's entirely possible. I know. I know it. Nice! Mythic for black. Vampiric Tutor. There you go, JC. Opposition agent and vampiric tutor. Your night can be done and you're good to go, man. Congrats. <laughs> and a Nostro Voice of the Crags for multicolor. And a foil foundry inspector for colorless. Elvis Dreadlord for black. Very good. And a foil sanitarium skeleton for black as well. Man, the second half of this box was pretty nice for black. Alright, uh, we got a Sakashima's protege for blue in our last pack here of Commander Legends. And we're going to end it with a foil at the Lisi, Reverent Medium for multicolor. All right, that means we definitely want to see that Sliver Legion <laughs> for multicolor in the Time Spiral box. We didn't see one in box number one. All right. Zendikar Rising, Collector Booster, number one. Feed the Swarm, that's a nice common foil for black. Legion Angel Full Art for white. There you go, Andrew. All right. Foil Coral Helm Chronicler uh, foil for blue. And our first duel, uh, Full Art uh, Needle Verge Pathway, the red-white duel. 
showcase foil hellhound for red and a full art foil archon of Ameria for white i'm putting that in my deck <laughs> my kids hate that card <laughs> <laughs> it is really good though yeah awesome that's a good one for andrew here in person mm -hmm. especially if you're trying to get a combo off mm-hmm all right, we, uh, nice. Like uh, Mythic Full Art, Scourge of the Skyclaves. Not that JC needed anything else crazy for this break, but nice one there. We've got a Foil Inscription of Abundance for green. Showcase Ruin Crab for blue. We've got a Full Art Jace Mirror Mage for blue. Nice. Got that Showcase Felidar for white. And a full art foil dual land for Deegan. That's pretty. Bright climb pathway, black white. <laughs> awesome. That's a really nice one for Deegan. Don't worry, Aaron. I haven't forgot you, man. I'm trying to get you something right here. Tabarex? Nah, man. JC says no. Tabarex hopes to spare demise for black. We've got a foil Legion Angel for white for Andrew. Another dual land. Clearwater Pathway, blue, black, full art. Showcase for green foil, Canopy Bailoff. And our Expedition Foil, Marsh Flats. Fetches always good. Mm hmm. Super awesome, guys. There we go. That's what you want to see. All right, Soaring Thought Thief. Pretty good foil for multicolor. Master of the Winds. Full art for blue. Mythic mm. foil for black. Agadine's Awakening. Yeah, that's just the... Black is on a roll. Got a showcase Felidar retreat for white. Showcase foil Geopede for red. And a foil for multicolor Mythic. Nisa of Shadow Bows. There you go, Mike G. It's a gorgeous foil. Wayward Guide Beast, full art for red. Foil for red, Roiling Vortex. There we go for red. Nice. Showcase Mythic, Morag Fury of Akum. There you go, Alex. Got a Showcase Foil Squid. And a full art foil for green, Swarm Shambler. There you go, Clarence. Full art for black, Hagra Mauling. Followed by a foil Hagra Mauling for black. It's crazy. Two in one pack. Mm -hmm. We've got the red green duel, River Glide Pathway for lands. So far, Showcase foil Nectar Pot for so green. Far it looks like black was a good color to get. Oh, mm -hmm. oh, oh, guys, yeah. we got an expedition foil. Strip mine, baby. Mm. Nice. Blow up that land. Yes, sir. Oh, nice. <laughs> I was worried. We had three boxes of Zendikar Rising um, collector boosters that had three foil expeditions in it in a row. Like, so I was definitely worried we were going to be like hitting just one in this box. <laughs> <laughs> You're supposed to average two, and we've been doing a little better than that. Let's keep it rolling. <laughs> yeah, man, why not? But she's thirst. Man, black is just. And a Malakir rebirth in the same pack. Super playable, guys. 
Got an inscription of abundance for green, full art. Foil Tabarax Hope's Demise for black. Showcase for black, Skyclave Shade. Showcase Dread <laughs> Dreadworm for black. <laughs> what? And a foil full art, Shatter Skull Charger for red. Ooh. I'm surprised it wasn't a, like a Nighthawk Scavenger. Oh, Jesus. It was just... Just oh, open it up and just slap it in the wow. <laughs> we'll get to those soon. I'm sure we'll see some of those. Aaron's not feeling too hot. <laughs> I'm sorry, Aaron, man. There's bet you got you got a lot of potential, man. In, 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 that in, 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 life, in life and in this break. Yasharn in, uh, Implacable Earth, mul uh, multicolor full art. Foil confounding conundrum for blue. Aaron. There you go. Dude, Aaron, like, I know you're at work, man. Like, <laughs> enjoy yourself. <laughs> We've got a showcase for green, uh, uh, the Kanzandu Mammoth. Kazandu Mammoth. That one always gets me. We've got uh, a foil showcase, Canyon Jerboa for white. And a. <laughs> what do we want to hit in here for, for Aaron? Uh, Seagate Restoration, that would be uh, sweet. Yeah, mm -hmm. that's probably a good one for him. Full Art Myriad Construct for Colorless. There you go, Daniel. Foil Verizal, the Split Current for Multicolor. We've got another Dual Land Full Art. Bright Climb Pathway, the white black one for Deegan. Territorial Scythe Cat Showcase Foil for Green. And a foil Verizal, the split current full art foil for multicolor. All right, three packs to go in the Zendikar Rising Collector Boosters. All right, we've got a full art for blue, Thieving Skydiver. A multicolor foil rare, Zareth, uh, the Trickster. Showcase Lotus Cobra non foil for green. Showcase Hellhound for red foil. And a third oh, expedition oh, yeah. foil wasteland. Blow up that land. <laughs> wow. Oh man. First we had landfall, now so landfall. ridiculous, that, guys. So okay. ridiculous. All right. <laughs> Guess these two boxes are supposed to cancel each other out with a landfall. So, yeah. <laughs> right now, as it stands, seven of our eight players are going to get a randomized card. We already saw a Scalding Tarn come out of the box toppers. Um, we've got Foil Expeditions Galore. All we got to do is hit one time shifted foil, and you're all getting a randomized card at the end, which is what we love to see. That's I'm so glad we decided to do the breaks this way. Such good value for you guys, and that is what we aim to do. Valleged Recovery is a good foil for green. Amarius Call Mythic Full Art right here for Andrew P. There it is. Sick. That's us. Hmm. Yeah. <laughs> foil Clearwater Pathway, regular art. And a Branch Loft Pathway Full Art, the green white. It's a good box for Deegan. We've got a, a showcase foil squid for blue. Yeah, we got one of those. Really know you no can defense. say there you go to that. <laughs> <laughs> got, got to spread the positive. Um, Eldraine <laughs> collector boosters yeah, they opened that yesterday. I know, I know. It's fine. They should get something on the wrap, on the randomization. A Kiri Fearless Voyager full art. Foil Mythic for Colorless Forsaken Monument. Nice. <laughs> That way, he called that one. He did. Like, I mean, and Daniel needed some help on this one, too. <laughs> it's only a thumb. Dude, these are like, these full arts, man. Are you get thumb working. It's, it's, it's arthritic. <laughs> been doing this. Full art foil for Sega Monument. That's a good one. Mm. Uh, yep, same pack. Check it out. That's, that's a good pack for you, Daniel. That's it, that's it for him, right? <laughs> Time shift is all over. Nice, dude. <laughs>
What a, that was a pretty good pack. Do you have one of those? All right. That was not a bad way to end off the Zendikar Collector Boosters. All right. But now we got our main event for break number two. Time Spiral. Let's go. Oh, we need to hit some blue for Aaron Dews, some green stuff for Clarence. We need to see a boy. Alex, we need to see a boy. Oh, yeah. Like, man, like, no, like, just nope. let me lament one more time. Another box without a dual lotus, man. Seven boxes leave open in these breaks. And Tom, and out of those last seven packs, Thomas has pulled like three of them. This is the eighth <laughs> box of Time Spiral without a Goy. If it doesn't have a Goy, this is the eighth box that we've opened. Mm. This is the, or no, it's the two. sixth box. No, because you did two and two, and then you did one and one, and now you did one. No, and we nine. did two and then one and one. Yeah. And then one, and then now one, and then one. That's the six. What about no. this one? The one. If you do two times spiral and two times spiral, that's oh, you're right, you're right. All right, all right, all right. Yeah, come on, Goyf, for for Clarence. Let's go see that foil, Goyf. Uh, we got a mythic for green hypergenesis. Hey, We're trying, good. man. Another hypergenesis. We've got a uh, panharmonicon, a nice hit for Daniel off the bat. All right, yeah, I definitely feel like we need to we need to get some hits for Aaron, Clarence, Alex, and Mike G. That's where we need the hits to go this round. It's kind of crazy reprinting this guy in strict saving. Grand ingots. Card's good. It's in, it helps engineer a lot of combos. Keen sense for green. Vincer Shaper Savant for Aaron Deuce. And then we've got our time shifted Palace Jailer for white. Hey, Strict Haven is really going to be a fun set to come out. Yeah, Strict Haven is going to be pretty sweet. We've got, we'll be posting our take home pre release information tomorrow, I believe. It's going to be very similar to the, our previous take homes. The only thing that makes it a little different is that the pre release packs are school specific. Um, we're like, so. I tried to crunch the numbers and try to figure out a way if there was a way that I could let people get all five schools. I just don't think it's feasible. So we're going to let folks get the um, like first three schools of their choice. You'll get two free boosters with each one of your pre-release packs, as is the norm. Uh, and I, it'll just be while supplies last on the schools. So come in uh, and, and we'll let you make selections as long as they're available. All right, next pack's got a Rada Heir to Killed and a Time Shifted Stonehorn Dignitary for White. Take that. Miri the Cursed for Black. A Time Shifted Bedlam Reveler for Red. Nice. And a foil, oh, nice. Urborg, Tomb Ooh. of Yogmoth for lands. Not that Deacon needed any help after that Zendikar Rising box, but there you go, buddy. I feel like we should put that one next to the Expeditions. <laughs> right. He's probably going to end up getting a Gemstone Caverns to this box, as we didn't see one in the previous one. Dryad Arbor for lands. Master of the Pearl Trident, time shifted for blue. Wasn't the original Time Spiral one a different uh, Merfolk? I don't think it was this one, was it? Um, I don't. Lord of Lannis. That's who it no, was. he wasn't in Time Spiral. He was time shifted, I thought. He he was originally time shifted in Time Spiral, but he was not in the main like the main set proper. Yeah, that's what I meant. Yes! Nice. Yes! Oh, finally. <laughs> All right, Goyf, finally. <laughs> now, can't we just get a freaking Jeweled Lotus? Green gets a lot. I think we're round. I know, that. man, but next time we do Commander Legends, Jeweled Lotus. <laughs> there you go, Clarence, man. We got the Goyf. Followed by a Thragtusk time shifted. That would be a, a nasty nice pack, sir. That would be a nasty steel pack. Mm -hmm. What are you drafting there? Ooh. Ooh, dude. I thought it would be tusk, just for like playability. 
I mean, if this is pick one, pack one, it it almost hurts to take the tusk and pass the goif because people are going to take it for value or people are going to take it and you're just going to be fighting people for a green. That's why I'm passing on all of that green. <laughs> <laughs> That's kind of smart. Like I'm saying, man, look at all that green in that pack. Yeah, yeah. I'm not taking green in that pack. Oh, man. I just wanted to see what y'all would I just, I, I'm probably taking the Rift Bolt. Yeah. That's yeah. like that's me. I've I've passed crazy mythics before. I probably just take the Thraktos and just a splash green because that Thraktos is just so bomb and limited. Yes. Like I, I mean, like there's not really a wrong pick for those, but man, just like Charlie said, there was so much good green in there. Uh, and there was only that one. The, really, there was only that Rift Bolt and like one other card for red, so you could be in good shape. Your favorite spear guy wasn't in the pack either, so that no, but that that guy would have tabled, <laughs> and I would have been like killing it. Craig said he takes Goy if he's money drafting. <laughs> <laughs> Tomb Stalker for black. Alicia who smiles at death, time shifted for red. Yeah, we'll go. Yeah. Foil off Ancient for green. I know I get a little twinge every time. Every time. Like, <laughs> there's a foil man. Every time. These fung fungus guys are kind of annoying when you're trying to do a list because they're kind of hard to find. <laughs> I mean, I'm appreciative of Time Spiral for many reasons, but I'm very appreciative of the influx of common and uncommon staples so that we can help flesh out all of y'all's lists that you are bringing us every day. Or send us to, send to us on Facebook or email. That's right. Always can email our, our Facebook us lists. Eon Chronicler for blue. Time shifted far seek for sure. green. Sure, yes. A little more value for Clarence. I'm really going to be interested to see how all these time shifted cards, like if there is not a significant or any reprint of Time Spiral going forward, like the, the potential value of these time shifts, like is significant, even the non foils. But I feel like the new art for some of these cards, can, that's going to make their price go up too. This is mm -hmm. the only printing. Unless they reprint more. Well, yeah, no, you're not wrong. Uh, Stuffy not wrong. Doll for Colorless. <laughs> Vanishing Light, Time Shifted for White. There you go, Andrew. Mm -hmm. And that. a Foil Dreamscape Artist uh, for Blue. It was weird seeing the Time Spiral logo on it, being that he was originally in Planar Chaos. That's just, it's just sets. I don't look at art, but like set symbols and like card text and stuff, that's just kind of how I recognize cards. I kind of ignore the whole middle portion. Every time you say you don't look right, it just drives me insane because that's the main thing I look at. Well, I mean, our brains obviously work differently. Very much. <laughs> he can read. Hey, I can read pictures. <laughs> J.F. Ballard, Task Mage for red. Hey, treasure. treasure Cruise, nice. Time shifted for blue. Looks really nice as a time shift. And that foil, Ivory Giant for white. I love all the suspend one dudes. Like they were my, that's they are probably the number one reason why it's my favorite limited set. I, I was never a fan of Echo's mechanic. That was always annoying. Oh dude, Echo's good too. You get so much value out of some of those dudes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I wanna keep them I wanna pack them. Angel's Grace for white. I'll take that. Felden of the Third Path, uh, time shifted for red. That's a good one. Yes, oh. Anger of the Gods, time shifted foil. That kind of looks sick. That's it nice. looks Good. so sick. That is a hot card. Literally, check it out, guys. Nice. I feel like Aaron's gonna get that just because how angry his pools have been. <laughs> yeah, but he just like that's value right there, man. Yeah. Like. Good card. So, just to recap real quick, we've got like three expedition foils. Our first. Time shifted foil and four box toppers. Everybody in the break is gonna get a time shifted card or a oh a, get a randomized card at the end. We hope that anybody whose break was maybe a little iffy gets something that puts them way over the top. And for those of you that are doing great already, we want you to do even better. It's like watching over. That's right, man. You get a randomized card. No, you get a randomized card. <laughs> I'm just waiting for Andrew to get yeah. some stupid. <laughs> Pulmonic Sliver? That's good. He almost spoke it into existence. He almost. He tried. <laughs> Paradoxical <laughs> Outcome? Time shifted for blue? Pretty fun. Oh, oh, oh back wow. to back! Time shifted foils! Ooh, Sylvan okay. Scrying! 
Ooh. That's so nasty. I, uh, whoever gets this, you you got to hook me up, man. What a <laughs> sick card, man. Yeah, that's pretty sweet. That deserves that's to be nice. in a Tron deck somewhere, honestly. You'd be surprised how good that Sliver is. With Sliver cycling. Yeah, Pomonic, yeah. Sliver? Yeah, Pomonic is really yeah. good. Did you see the Sylvan Scrying? <laughs> Sylvan Scrying, man. So, somebody's going to double up. Will it be Aaron Deuce? No. You're <laughs> <laughs> gonna get a creeping carpet. Ooh. 45. Mm-hmm. Oh man, is that the Sylvan Scrying's 45? Yep. Mm-hmm. How much is the Anger of the Gods? It's about 32. 32? Man, so nice. What a what a good day. Singer Nosferatu for black. Lingering mm. Souls Time Shift <laughs> for white. Man, now I just want to see a Sliver Legion, and then I'll, <laughs> I'll feel like my like my job is done. Oh, man, we got to get that third time, foil time shifted. That's not... Man, I don't... I, maybe everybody's luck combined can make that happen. It's not coming from me. <laughs> Boom Bust for red. Mortify, time shift for multicolor. There you go. I want to see a nice... Like, I want to see a Kiki Jiki. Hmm. I want to see that for red for Alex. I've seen one of those in a minute. Mm-hmm. Slaughter Pact for Black. Time Shifted Blood Raid Elf for Multicolor. Nice. That's a good one for Mike. I really want a playset of the Foil Time Shifted, but I got a playset of FM ones autographed by Steve Argyle, and he autographed like in in red and green. So that's probably the set I'm always going to play with. The only time I met Steve Argo was at Gen Con, and I brought the, the Liliana to the Village to get signed, and it ha- his hand was broken. All he could do was stamp him. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, okay. Okay. Caravac the Merciless for multicolor. Ramanat Ruins time shift for lands. And a foil uh, Yixalid Jailer for black. That guy used to be good. He's still good. Yeah. Might of Old Crosa for green. Scrib Ranger for green. Pack them negation for Aaron Dews. There you go. That's a good one, buddy. Followed by a teamer ascendancy for multicolor. Ooh, ooh. Herborg, non-foil for lands. <laughs> Deegan's right. having a good day. Time shifted Knight of the Reliquary for multicolor. Very good. And a foil Calciform pools for pools for lands. Mike is making up for it in volume on some of these really nice time shifts. Knight of the Reliquary, super playable. Swarm Yard for lands. Time shifted hey. Gray Merchant for black. And a foil Keen Sense for green. That's pretty good. Yeah. We have a reprint men tied in this. We need more of those. Mm. Tolaria West for lands. Justin's on a hot streak. Another Palace hey. Jailer for Andrew here. Time shifted. Take it. Have you seen the uh, White Uncommon? The counter target spell? Yeah. Targets a permanent you control or something like that? Megas of the Future for blue. Time shifted arc of Araska for <laughs> lands. It just doesn't fit anywhere. <laughs> <laughs> There's got to be some synergy in there somewhere. That it was from the older times. That's why I got shifted to this. <laughs> it's not from older times. It's from like last year. <laughs> it makes sense in the past. Or like it's 
kind of past. It wasn't. No, just because it has dinosaurs doesn't mean it was set in the past. I'm, I mean, dinosaurs are pretty old, pa- so that kind of makes them. Not in Magic World. <laughs> I mean, Pact yep. with the Titan for red. And a Vampire Hex Maze uh, time shift for black. I don't think, have we doubled up any uh, time shift cards yet? Uh, Palace Jailer. Yeah. yeah. So that, I mean, that's just giving them the same time. Yeah, that one's. I would. If I opened a box of this and I opened like 10 of them, I would not be too sad. No. <laughs> That is just from the customer service side of things. So many people need them. Heartwood Storyteller for green. And a non-foil time-shifted Sylvan Scrying. Mm-hmm. Woo! Oh, that's Sylvan Scrying. So I feel- just <laughs> side by side, the foil and the non. Uh, I forgot they put the little star on Oh, the so again. good. Mm-hmm. Yeah, the swoosh. The shooting star. I think the swoosh is the most the little swoosh. No, that's a swoosh. Oh, we call that the swirl in Pokemon. That's right. Even mind sensor for white. Porphyry nodes for white. And an, our second, second gray, gray merchant. There we go. Okay. Time well. shifted for black. There we go. Another. I'd have ten of those. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, no, nah. no. Pa- Palace Taylor is a lot harder to get yeah, than Great Merchants. Yeah, you'll have to. Yeah. Oh, I mean, like, yeah, Great Merchants way is way cooler. I agree with that. Yeah, but okay. we don't have that many. I mean, we have tons of those guys. <laughs> Our devotion. Rebuff the Wicked is a pretty solid uncommon for there white. It is, yeah. Followed by a Benelish Commander for white. <laughs> And a sorceress spyglass time shifted for colorless. They shouldn't use that art. I'm not a fan of that art. Wasn't it, it from like last year? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. it was X Long Pierce Sorry, X-Long. there was probably some formula where they had that they chose so many cards from each block or each set, mm-hmm. and somehow they spun the wheel and landed on those. I mean, it, it does have an old school card feel with like. Um, Going back to like Zendikar with like Explorer Scope, and then like older cards like like Glasses of Verza and stuff like that. I mean, it has that kind of feel, so I, I kind of get it. But it, they definitely could have picked a better one for that. <laughs> Necrotic Sliver for Multicolor. Muragonda Petroglyphs for Green. And a Time Shifted a Contagion Clasp for Colorless. Like. Uh, just for an example of a, a better card to time shift. I feel like that card doesn't get enough love because it's, it's just so good. Which card? Contagion class? Oh, yeah. Oh, dude, that's, it gets all kinds of love. I know, but I don't see it right. All right, Glittering Wish, rare for multicolor. Ethereal oh, Armor, nice. time shift. That's cool. Nice. For white. I want to see that foil. Foil for green. Summoner's hey. pack. Nice rare foil. Oh, nice. You're going to be sharing with your brother, Clarence. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> hey, man. Aaron got a pact of negation. Yeah. Like, it's pretty yeah. good. <laughs> get the, they get the pack. That's pretty good. What is that? It's like five bucks? What? What? No. Negation? Yeah, look at yeah. pact of negation. 15, 16. No way. Mm-hmm. Yeah, dude. Just, it negates stuff for free. <laughs> Blue players love that. Yeah. How much is it? I'm going to find out in a minute. I just couldn't get over Cliff's explanation of the card. <laughs> <laughs> the Safi Eric Stoddard for multicolor. A time shifted Molten Rain for red. That's cool. Wow, well, blue players play blue just so they can counter stuff. <laughs> Not to draw cards, that's for sure. Mm. Do that in black. I guess it's $15. <laughs> there you go. Yeah. Cross and Grip okay. for, uh, uh, for green. 18 versions of it. Gauntlet of Power, Mythic nice. for Colorless. Nice. A good one for Daniel. Followed by Colorless Time Shift Hedron Archive. That's cool. It's That's a good cool. pack for Daniel. How much was it to get in this? It was 50. Okay, so Aaron's still negative $32. <laughs> uh, I mean, that's like half a trip to the gas station to get lottery tickets yeah. for him. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. yeah he's, he, he's used to losing, so he's good mm. all those scratchers. <laughs> Do you remember, like, when I cashed that lottery ticket for Aaron, like, like a year ago? It was like a $200 thing. He came in, uh, he came in like, this weekend and was scratching tickets, and it, it made me remember that I had it. 
and uh, it was still good. So like I had Cliff go cash it. So, no way. Yeah, so it was like two hundred bucks. Damn, he didn't tell me he got two hundred bucks that day. <laughs> Where's my gas? <laughs> Another Croson grip for green. Mangara of Corridor for white. Time shifted Trigon Predator for multicolor. And a foil Ganthan Raiders for red. Don't say, don't be calling his brother out like that. I <laughs> 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 said absolutely not. Yeah. <laughs> Gotta bring me good luck. Fungus Sliver for green. And a time shifted Primeval Titan nice. for green. Yeah, nice. Let's Scoop it up. Pack that Titan. Like green has caught up. Green has caught up, man. But I'd still like to see something nice for Alex. I'd like to see something, another nice pull for Aaron, and a nice pull for Mike. Even though he's done pretty well on these time shifts. Yeah, Red's really used something. Maybe we'll see that Kiki Jiki. Hive Stone for Colorless, and a time shifted Hollow One. For colorless. That's a fun deck to play, man, but it never worked out for me. I would always dis end up discarding my hollow ones every time. Super fragile, but man, when it when it works, it just seems like the most world beater like deck there is. Alright, another one for colorless, man. Lotus Bloom. SRAM time hey, shift for white. And a foil tendrils of corruption for black. That the tendrils were always low on or no. Nah. I thought it was, it was one of those weird. It's hard to get, to get older. All right, Megas of the Moon. Nice. There we go. That's a good one for Alex. Spoke that one into existence. And a Dreadhorde Arcanist, time shifted for red as well. There we go, man. Two packs to go. Come on, Sliver Legion. We've opened a bunch of Sliver Legions in our previous breaks. Like we've done very well with those. That's been the anti Jeweled Lotus. <laughs> Restore Balance, Mythic for white. There we go. Nice one for Andrew. Time shifted Relentless Rats for black. That's cool. And a foil infiltrator Ilkor for blue. I wonder how much of that foil rat would be going rats would go for. The relentless rats? Yeah. A time shifted foil? I don't know, man, but congrats to whoever's got enough money to make a whole deck of them. Yeah, right. <laughs> Alright, last time spiral pack, and then we'll get to our randomization, which is gonna be sick. Random guess I would say it was around ten dollars. No, nah, that's time power and master cracks. They're yeah. expensive. Oh. Yeah, because yeah, they're all time shifted, so like. Fair point. They're probably at least in the probably 25, 30 range, if not more. Uh, all right, last pack. Here we go. Draining Welk Ooh. for blue. And a sigil of the empty throne. Time shift for white. I'll take that. Nice. That's about 33. Nice. That would be a lot more. All right. So we've got four uh, box toppers to open. What do you say? The Marsh Lats is probably the biggest hit out of these. Yeah. You think Marsh Flats, Strip Miner Wasteland, which one's the most expensive? And we'll, we'll, we'll put that one as the randomized. Marsh Flats. All right, so we're going to do our four box toppers. Then we're going to do a Strip Mine, Wasteland, Anger the Gods, a Sylvan Scrying, and then all eight folks will have a crack at the Marsh Flats. All right. All right, so our first box topper is going to go to Deegan. I would talk about his impressive streak of winning randomized cards, but w when you're like just throwing out randomized cards to everybody every week, it's not quite as impressive. <laughs> but let's see how good it is. 
Deegan, who had lands and had a pretty solid break, is going to also get a Razor Verge Thicket. Green, white, fast land. Come down a little bit. You want to be in the middle of the tree? That's yes. Yeah. There we go. <laughs> All right. Lands. Gotcha. Yeah. All right. Congrats to Deegan on that one. Our next box topper is going to go to... Andrew P, right here in front of us. That's us. Oh, what do you want to see in here, Andrew? I'll stick with Aaron Mesa for 200, Alex. <laughs> Aaron Mesa. <laughs> red fetch. A red fetch. Would he, he called his shot on a red fetch. Imagine if it is. <laughs> Marsh flat. Close. Okay. Close. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Marsh flat. Sick. Nice, That's man. What I called. You always want to see a fetch in this situation, man. Mm -hmm. Always good. a fetch. That's good. That's so good. good. We're cool. There you that. go, man. That is awesome. Super happy. All right. Next box topper. That was the one I called. To Alex. Let's see what we're sending you, buddy. Let's see what he gets. And it's a Black Cleave Cliffs. Oh, nice. Nice. I need like four of these personally. That's awesome, dude. I'm happy to send this to you, man. Awesome, Black Cleave Cliffs. The, probably the best of the fast lands. All right, our last box topper is going to go to Clarence. Oh. All right, Clarence. What are we going to see, man? And Clarence is going to get Aaron Mesa. Hey. Oh. Hey. <laughs> All right. Oh, All right. nice, dude. All hey, right. if, if you want if you want to do a swapsies with Andrew while, while he's here, you let us know, man. That's awesome, dude. Oh, I've got my play set. That's just, that's just how it works. <laughs> <laughs> awesome, man. Aaron Mesa to Clarence. Excellent. That's cool. All right. I did call that one. That's weird. Strip mine. Like, pretty, a pretty choice one, man. I, like, I think that's the one I would want out of this, honestly, myself personally. Strip mine's gonna go to Aaron Dews. Nice. Congrats, dude. You deserve it, man. Awesome. Let's get one more look at that strip mine. That's so sweet. Good job, Aaron. Although, honestly. From what I understand, like that would probably would have been a better one for Clarence. <laughs> Why? Strip mine. Oh. Uh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Next up. Jesus. The wasteland is gonna go to. Jesus. Yeah. Sound bad. Mike G. There you go. Foil expedition to Mike G. Awesome, dude. That is a sweet one. Thank you for participating. Wasteland. Putting multicolor over the top. All right. We're down to Daniel S. and JC on our two time-shifted foils. You can definitely always hook me up <laughs> later. Uh, the name that pops up is going to get the Anger of the Gods. The remaining name is going to get the super sweet Sylvan Scrine. I don't know which one of those I like better. Honestly, they are both super sick. Anger of the Gods is going to go to Daniel S. Daniel S. gets the super cool Anger of the Gods. Oh, so gorgeous. <laughs> that like is both, really man. nice. All right, so that means that JC is going to be our lucky winner of the Sylvan Scrine time-shifted foil. Too cool. For that to pick you. Not to mention, JC also got that opposition agent and that vampiric tutor earlier. Yep. He had a really, really sick uh, like break with us today. Let's uh, restore all of our names here to give away our last prize of the day. Marsh Flats Foil Expedition. Everybody's got that one and eight shot. Everybody has done okay for themselves. Sending out all the positivity. All right. And 
The winner of this break number two final random house prize is Greg. No, I'm just kidding. All right. <laughs> Nobody would have been surprised, though, somehow. All right. For real, though. And the winner of the Marsh Flats is... Aaron Deuce! Nice. He needed a duty oh negative still. Aaron Deuce, man. Congrats, nice. man. That's right, man. We did good. Yeah. Oh, man. I'm super good. happy for you, man. Awesome. What a break, guys. How much was the... the Nine the randomized cards. Both boxes of Zendikar Rising once again had three foil expeditions. That's crazy. Huh? And both of our Times for Our boxes had multiple time shifted foils. That's pretty darn good luck. And when you like add in the extra Commander Legends packs because of my, my goof and the extra box topper, man, everybody really walked away with something pretty cool. And we're always happy to say that. Uh, we definitely appreciate you joining us again this week. Thank you to Andrew for hanging out with us today. Um, uh, we'll be back doing this again next week. Uh, definitely uh, look for our YouTube channel. Uh, you can watch us on Twitch. Uh, if you want to throw us a review uh, or a like or a subscription, uh, we would love that too. We just want to bring you some fun, uh, like some fun videos, some cool pack openings, and uh, just to uh, you know further make you a part of our community. Man, we love y'all, and uh, we will see you again next week. Later.